Megan, and I'm so excited to walk you through our 3609 Base Star for the 2022 model year. Our Base Star brand is our best selling gas here at Newmar. So, just a heads up as you walk through this, there's a reason why it's our best selling. And it's going to be because it's made for families, maybe families who are on a budget, but they're not willing to compromise in value or space or storage. It's also going to be for anyone who maybe goes on weekend getaways, spends one to two weeks a year on the road. It's going to be great for anyone that's a first time RVer. And it's also going to be good for snowbirds who want value and space all in one coach. What you'll see behind me is going to be our Baystar and Newmark Chrome badge plates. You'll see that throughout. Along with that is you're going to have your nice open windshield. That's going to be bonded to the front cap and that's something that we set ourselves apart from our competition. Um, they might have a gap between theirs where ours is going to be bonded. Making our way around the coach here, you're going to have your side mirrors. Those are going to be remote control and have auto defrost. The Base Star 3609 is going to be built on a four chassis. It's going to be a 7.3 liter V8 engine and it's also going to come with a 5.5 Onan Cummins generator. Making our way to the door side of this Base Star 3609, what you're going to see behind me and all around this coach is going to be our option in standard Gable graphics package. So what you can choose on our Base Star brand is going to be either the Gable as you see behind me, the Urban, or the Rider. What's really nice about this one is it's going to give you a nice hint of those blues and grays, and that's just going to be really eye-catching as you go down the road. Along with our paint, you're going to have a full paint masterpiece finish. And then specifically on the front that I did not already touch on is going to be a front protective film. And it's also going to have a clear coat finish. So just keep that in mind. Behind me, I want to go ahead and point out that you're going to have hydraulic steps. So as you open this door, these steps are going to come out. So it's going to be really nice. And you're just going to have a nice small step up. Some competitors, some brands, you take a bigger step up and it can be a little bit dangerous. But what's nice is you're always going to have our assist handles as well. And as you close the door, those will just go ahead and release back in. Next to it, you're going to have the optioned in Truma AquaGo. So this does not come standard, but it's something that you can option in if you find the benefit in it. So what this does is it's going to be your water heating system throughout the coach. And what it does is it goes ahead and it pumps out 1.5 gallons of hot water per minute. And it's a, um, it also prevents scolding. So no matter what, you're never gonna have that scolding hot water that's gonna burn you in the shower or under your faucet washing your hands. In your first bay here, you're gonna have that um, beat foam installation on the sidewalls to keep this nice and insulated. You're also gonna have your Xantrex inverter. It's gonna be a 2000 watt. Moving into the second bay, these two connect. So it honestly just gives you a larger extended bay here. And again, you're gonna have that same insulation throughout these walls. Right above, if you choose to option it in, you have the choice to have an exterior entertainment system on the outside. So you'll have your key, you can unlock it. This is gonna be packaged up because it's gonna be ready to ship down to the dealer. But you're gonna have a Samsung TV out here and you can go ahead and have the Bose soundbar optioned in. But basically if you're watching a big game or if you have, have a fun movie night outside, what a better option than this? And that just simply closes back up and make sure you go ahead and lock that back into place so it doesn't open up on the road. Moving into bay three, you're gonna just see again another open bay so what you'll see with this base star, as I've kind of already touched on, is it packs in a lot of punch. There's a ton of room, a ton of storage, a ton of space. And just like families, you're gonna have a lot of stuff. Even if you don't take a lot of stuff, you might come home with a lot of stuff. That's like me on vacation, right? Here in bay four, again, just more open space, more storage. And this one's also gonna have a couple of 110 outlets. So if you need to plug anything in outside, that's gonna be in your bay four here. You're also gonna have your side markers. Um, that's gonna come on both sides and that just allows you to keep touch when you're backing in or pulling in. And right here, you're gonna go ahead and see part of your awning arm. So it comes standard on the base star 3609 
is going to be our carefree traveler awnings with a luma guard and that comes out with slide top covers as well here in bay five and bay six again just more storage bay six you're not going to have any storage so keep that in mind that's going to be where um, your tanks are going to be and then rounding out the door side of this Bay Star 36 is going to be just a nice last open bay. So no matter what, you're going to have plenty of storage and space and you never have to compromise on bringing anything on the road. The rear of this Bay Star 3609, what you're going to see is your tow hitch below here. It's going to be a 5,000 pound rating. Again, your chrome plates on the back. And then right up top is going to be your rear camera. So that's going to connect with the Voyager on the inside. And then something you can option in is going to be your rear ladder to have roof access. This doesn't come standard, keep that in mind, but you can option it in. And we're just going to keep moving here to the off door side. So again, you're going to have that really pretty gable exterior graphics. It's nice because you can see both when the shade's hitting it and the sun, how maybe that difference looks. The blue is really popping on this side. Here in your last bay, you're gonna have your power cord. So that's what you're gonna plug into the campsite. As you see, it's not powered, so it's gonna be manual, but you'll pull this out and you plug it into the campsite for you. Here in the next bay, again, just another open bay for tons of storage. What you'll see here is lights and that come in every bay, but you can turn those on and they're gonna be LED lights throughout your bay so you can see them. And the next bay over, again, just another ample storage space for you. You're gonna have that other side marker over here. And here's gonna be your waterworks system. So remember, this is going to be on your off door side, your water work system. So you're going to go ahead and have your fresh water city connection, your fresh water um, tank fill valve, your sewage rinse, um, rear black and another black one. You're going to have your outside shower. So you can go ahead and use this. Maybe you're, you've been camping or if you're at the beach and you've been sandy. Um, that's a good idea to rinse out here. And then here in your next bay, you're just gonna have another ample storage space here. You're gonna go ahead and see this tube right here with the pink liquid that goes, that tells you that this coach has been winterized. Moving into the next one here, you're gonna have your 5.5 Cummins Onion generator. Right next door, you're gonna have two house batteries. And then rounding out the base, on this off door side, you're just gonna have your LP tank. And then something I wanna point out real quick, on your side mirrors here, so you're gonna have your side mirror with the remote control and auto defrost, but just below on both sides, you're also gonna have your side cameras. So just like the rear one that we pointed out, your side cameras are gonna go ahead and translate into the Voyager so you can see everything on the side and the rear. Taking you to the inside of our 3609 base star, we're gonna go ahead and start out in our cockpit area. We're gonna be spending a lot of your time driving down the road. First and foremost, you have your captain's chairs. These are gonna be new Williamsburg furniture for this year. Your driver's seat is actually gonna be a six-way powered seat, whereas your passenger seat is going to be manual. And you'll see that the reasoning for that is going to be the optioned in folding cockpit table here in the middle, which I'll go ahead and demonstrate. So this doesn't come standard, but it is an option available to you when you are placing your order. So you're gonna have a lever down here. You're basically gonna push that. This is gonna come up. You're gonna fold, bring it up, and then this is gonna fold out. So now you have a table here. These can swivel around so you can sit, eat, play cards, and just simply enjoy. And then to put it back down, you're gonna kind of follow the same method here. Bring this back down. It can be a little bit tough, so just make sure you're um, prepared for that. And you're gonna fold this back down. 
and there you go. And you'll see though that this is still fully extended, so if you want a little bit more leg room, you're just gonna simply push that lever back and it'll go all the way in for you. And then focusing up here, so what you're gonna see new for the 2022 year is going to be a two-tone dash. So you have your nice cream and tan up here, and then you're gonna have black up front. Right here you have your standard radio and camera system. So that's gonna be your side cameras and your rear camera. Something you can option in is going to be a new six and a half inch Excite monitor. So you can option that in and that comes with Navingo, which is our new navigation system for this year. However, what comes standard is gonna be your Sony radio and your Voyager camera up here. Over here, you're gonna have your steering wheel and your dash front dash area. So with this, this comes with cruise control, electronic stability control, over here, you're going to have your generator starter. You're also going to have a USB plug right down here, cup holder. And then you're also going to have your smart leveling um, system over here for your jacks. And that actually has Bluetooth capability on your tablet as well. Moving up here to your window, what you're going to see is throughout this coach, you're going to have JBL premium audio. So what that means is you're going to have ample audio throughout your cockpit area and throughout the coach. And even though you might see only two speakers up front here, you actually have two speakers within the one. So that comes to a total of four speakers throughout. Over here on your passenger side, you're again gonna have your chair and then you're gonna have a passenger workstation. So I'll go ahead and pull that out for you. So if you're sitting up here and you wanna enjoy something, whether that's food or if you're reading the newspaper or something, you can go ahead and flip this up and you're gonna have a table and it's just gonna simply come out for you. And then you can go ahead and put that back in. And that rests really nicely and it's just a nice clean look. Along with that, you're gonna have your cup holder up here. Again, that JBL sound system. And then over here, you're gonna have, you can't see it currently, but you're gonna have a 110 outlet along with two USB ports, which is great if you are working remote and you're using your workstation, you have something to plug into it. And then right up here, you're gonna see three cabinets. So even though they went ahead and optioned in the drop down bunk, you don't lose any storage space. So right underneath, you're gonna have cabinets. They're gonna be really wide and actually decently deep, which is nice. And right above here is going to be your drop down bunk that you can option in. It doesn't come standard, but this would be a good option if you have kiddos on the road, you need extra sleeping space, or if you know you're just gonna have additional guests on the road. So right over here on your passenger side, you're gonna have a bunk switch. And when you press this, just stand clear because this is going to drop and fold down. So as this comes down, you're going to press this towards your window and the bed's going to fold from up here. So that comes down and you have your bed here. And what you'll see too is you're going to have additional reading lights that you can press on the inside and those will turn on. So if you're reading or just hanging out, need some ample light just up here while all the other lights are turned off, you can have that. Now to fold this back up, simply just go ahead and push this back in and you're going to grab it. It's kind of already coming towards you as you can see. Now this is going to be a little tough, so when you do it, make sure you press really hard, kind of on both ends and you'll hear a latch on each side. Making our way inward here, you're going to have your dinette area and your kitchen area. So directly to the left of me is going to be your booth dinette. This comes standard on this 3609. What is nice about this booth is it's actually a convertible sleeper booth. So if you have two small children or maybe an extra adult staying with you, this might be a nice ample space for them. What you'll do is there's a lever underneath that's gonna be straight to begin with, and you're gonna go ahead and move that up and basically give some really hard shove down. So as you move this down, what I suggest um, that I didn't show is taking off these cushions first. It'll go all the way down but what you'll have once you do that is you'll have an additional cushion in your back bedroom area that you can use for the bed. So as you'll see in the picture here, you'll have the nice three cushions. It'll be a nice bed for you. We'll just go ahead and leave that out. Directly across here is gonna be your kitchen area. So what you'll see throughout is going to be our gable decor that they optioned in along with the Calypso maple matte finish cabinets. So although we might get these cabinet fronts from 
um, someone else. We actually do stain them in-house. And then everything that you see on the inside from the shelving and the you know, ceiling or floor of the cabinets is gonna be done here in-house as well. And what you'll see too is um, going to be our little hardware here. So what Newmar does is gonna be um, screw and glue our cabinets together. Our competition actually will staple them, giving it a little bit cheaper of a look and a cheaper product. As you come in and you tug and pull, these aren't gonna move, they're gonna be very sturdy and stable. And as I mentioned before, just go into some of our competitors, do the same thing and check out the small details because that's what we like to make here at Newmar as we can, you know, say often and as we know the difference, small or big. Underneath, you're gonna have a double stainless steel sink here. So as you can see, you're gonna have flush tops. That's gonna be your solid surface matching. But you're gonna have two stainless steel sinks so you can go ahead and cover that up for additional space. Maybe you just need one sink or you need something to cut fruits and veggies on and you know push those scraps down in there. You're also gonna have your stainless steel faucet. You're gonna have a vented kitchen window. And then back here, within your solid surface is gonna be your really pretty grouted backsplash. Speaking of things in house, we do all of our grout work here at Newmar. And what's really nice about that is our production line is all one line. So whether it's Baystar, Dutch Star, King Air, they all go through the same hands and have the same touch. Underneath, you're gonna have ample storage throughout. So you're gonna go ahead and open this up. You can put nice taller appliances underneath there, water bottles, maybe paper towels. And then you're also going to have your drawers. And what's nice about Newmars is they're all soft close. So you can go ahead and just shove that in and it's going to stop itself. What they optioned in on this coach is going to be a 30 inch um, convection microwave whirlpool. And then that comes with the Elite Series 3 burner cooktop. So that's not standard, but it is an option available to you. And that's what we're seeing here today. And this will just fold back down, giving you all that counter space. And then again, you're gonna have the solid surface throughout the coach. So what you'll see here in the kitchen, you'll see in the bathrooms, as well as your dresser. Right up here is where you're gonna see our fantastic vent. So this opens up, so when it's raining, that fan, once it's on, will actually be able to stay open, allowing air to come in and out while keeping the rain out from underneath. Again, underneath here, you're gonna have ample storage space. You're gonna have that extra cover for your sink. So if you just wanna cover that all up, you don't need it, you can use that as well. Staying focused right here, I'm gonna draw your attention to the flooring. So what comes standard in our Base Star 3609 is gonna be vinyl flooring. Something you can option in is going to be vinyl tile flooring, which is what you're seeing today. So what you can do is when you option this in, you can extend this into the bedroom or you can have it cut off and not include the bedroom. If you don't include the bedroom, that'll be carpeting as you see on our full wall slide over here. But they went ahead and optioned in the full vinyl tile throughout, giving it a really nice, pretty and clean look. And again, that just helps with dirt and grime or um, just you know when you're coming down the road and stuff, you don't wanna have to vacuum that carpet often. Over here, in addition to the rest of your kitchen, is going to be your refrigerator. Something you can option in is going to be the Whirlpool 11 cubic feet for a fridge refrigerator, and that's what you're seeing here today. So you can go ahead and unlock and lock it, and this will go ahead and open up for you. So you'll have tons of storage space. And then you'll also have your freezer up top. And go ahead and make sure that you lock that back into place because when you're going down the road and your sides are in, you don't want this to come open and damage anything else or have all of your food fall out. Over here in your main living area is going to be a standard 84 inch visionary trifold sofa. What that means is it's actually also going to be a sleeper so this can fold out into a bed. So this is great for families. Up here you're gonna have, again, just ample storage. And that goes all the way throughout. So you're not lacking storage here. Even though there's tons of sleeping space, that doesn't take away from anything else throughout the coach. You're also gonna have your balances up here. 
As I mentioned throughout, you'll go ahead and see that gable decor package. You're gonna have your balances. You're gonna have four 110 outlets over here. And then you're also gonna have your lights. So you're gonna have your ceiling lights, reading and accent. And you can go ahead and just turn all those back on. And then over here, you're gonna have your pantry and your dry bar. So directly across or next to your fridge is gonna be your pantry. So you can go ahead and push to release these out. They'll come all the way out for you. And you'll push that in until that clicks. And what's nice about these is these are adjustable. So let's say you have cereal boxes. Um, if you don't wanna put them directly on the top and you want them on the bottom, you can adjust these at your own will and height. And then right here is your dry bar area. So what they went ahead and optioned in is the electric fireplace. This doesn't come standard, but it's really nice. And to be honest, it's the one thing keeping me warm right now. Um, up here, you're gonna go ahead and see your TV. And something you can option in with that is gonna be the Bose soundbar below, which they did. Up above here, you'll have your really pretty reeded glass cabinets. And you'll just have a couple of small storage spaces up here, maybe for movie, books, or um, maybe spices if your pantry is already full. And now we make our way to our midship of our coach here. And what you're gonna have across from each other is going to be your mid bath along with your ward. What you can option in is going to be a washer and dryer, which they did and I'll show you. But first and foremost is gonna be your mid bath. And what I wanna point out and just touch on really quick because it's a huge selling point for the 3609 is this is actually going to be the only base star floor plan that comes with a mid bath and a full bath other than our bunk model, the 3616. So keep that in mind. Here you're gonna have a full mirror. So if you're getting ready in the morning or if your kids are getting ready, this is great for them. They don't have to come back to your rear bath and bother you. Um, stepping in here, you're actually gonna see that there's a lot of space. So you'll have your commode down here. You're gonna have cabinets up top. You'll have your electrical panels up here and then cabinets and storage behind. And then right over here, you're obviously gonna have another window. You're gonna have another fantastic vent that we touched on, a stainless steel undermounted sink with that solid surface again throughout. You're gonna have your ceiling and vanity lights. So we'll go ahead and flip those off so you guys can see that. And we'll go ahead and turn them back on. You'll have your 110V outlets along with your medicine cabinet up here. And then as always, as we like to touch on, you're gonna have ample storage and space. You're gonna have drawers. And again, it's gonna be those soft closed drawers. And then you're gonna have cabinet space underneath. So there's no lack of storage within this small mid bath. And directly across here is going to be that ward or washer and dryer. Go ahead and close that up. And then right over here, is where you're gonna see that option in washer and dryer. So it's gonna be that stack splendid. And again, if you don't option this in, this is just gonna be a nice open ward for you. And we're gonna go ahead and take you into our master bedroom. And as you saw here, you're gonna have a nice pocket door. So if you want a little bit of privacy, um, separate from your kids in the mid bath area and you and your um, partner, you can go ahead and do that. As we step in, you're gonna have your slide out button up here. So that's gonna go ahead and take out your bedroom. You're also gonna have your lights down here. So we'll go ahead and turn those off just so you can see that. And we'll go ahead and turn them back on. Perfect. So now as we make our way in here, what you're gonna see in our bedroom again is gonna be that fully extended vinyl tile flooring. You're gonna have a king bed, which is standard, which is super nice. Back here, you're gonna go ahead and see that gable decor and headboard. You have two nice windows on each side. And we don't take this out just so to show you guys, only because we wanna keep that nice and protected for customers once it ships down to the dealer. But underneath here, you're also gonna have some lights. So you'll have reading lights. You can flip those on. And as you see, that didn't come put both of them on. And that's because, you know, maybe one person doesn't want it on, they're going to bed, and the other person, you know, maybe is an insomniac and can't sleep. So. You can go ahead and turn both of those on or off and vice versa again. And then over here across from your bed area is going to be ample storage and space for all of your clothes and belongings. 
So each of you will have a nice opened ward here. As we move, make our way in here, you're going to see that's nice and wide and deep. You're also going to have a hanging rod in each of them. So if you have clothes or um, coats or pants that you like to hang up, you can do that. You're going to have six drawers underneath. So you can open those up. Again, that's a ton of space. You're going to have that solid surface countertop up here and below to match. You're going to have the two 110 outlets along with a egress exit window here. Above, you're going to have that Samsung TV. So if you want to enjoy some nighttime entertainment, you can do that away from everyone. And I'll go ahead and open up this ward as well so you guys can see that. So you'll have lights up top that you can turn on and that along with the hanging rod. And then right back here, what you're going to see on each nightstand is going to be a 110 outlet along with two USB ports. And what you're seeing there on the left side of that camera is actually going to be the ladder that comes for your bunk. So if you choose to option in the drop down bunk, you're going to go ahead and have that ladder optioned in. And we're going to go ahead and make our way into the master bathroom here. Again, you're going to have a, another pocket door for privacy. Just make sure that those lock back into place there as you hear that click, as you don't want those coming in and out. Making our way here, so what you're gonna see again is that solid surface with the stainless steel sink. You're gonna have two 110 outlets. You're gonna have your ceiling and vanity lights. As we've demonstrated throughout, we'll go ahead and turn those off and turn them back on for you. Right above me in the uh, commode is going to be another fantastic vent. Again, you can open that up and even if it's raining, that will deter any water from coming in. You're gonna have a window back here that can be vented. And you're also gonna have another ward back here with some shelving. And then again, you're gonna have drawers and a ton of space underneath. So all the way throughout the coach, you're gonna have your soft closed drawers. So you can go ahead and close that and it'll close on its own and it'll be quiet. And then over here, you're gonna have your baths and your showers. So I'm gonna go ahead and step in here so you can kind of see the height um, with this. You're also gonna have a nice skylight. It's gonna be vaulted too, so you have a little bit of more head clearance if you're a little bit taller than I am. You also have places to put your soap, or for us ladies, if you wanna put your foot up here for shaving. I know that's always really nice and sometimes necessary. And then back behind me, you're gonna go ahead and have a retractable shower head. So if you're taller, you can go ahead and use it up here and then vice versa if you're a little bit shorter as well. Thank you for coming along and walking through the Base Star 3609 for the 2022 model year. I want to go ahead and highlight a few points. As I said earlier, our Base Star is going to be our best selling gas brown brand here at Newmar. This 3609 is also going to be our only floor plan that comes with the mid bath and rear baths. So one and a half baths other than our bunk model, which is a 3616. As always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach us at Newmar Sales and Service, and please reach out to one of our dealers across the country. I'm Megan, and I'll see you next time.